extraordinary and start taking the steps to, to become extraordinary for ourselves and for our family because we cannot be ordinary and on our way to greatness. So no more excuses. They all have been used up. So let us shine bright from within starting tonight. And once again, this is Eileen Galera, your host. Glad to be back here in the USA. And tonight is another chance to rise above the extraordinary and we have a phenomenal, phenomenal leaders leading and mentoring, coaching, and guiding us uh, to, you know, to our success that we have to trust and respect. And so be grateful. I know I am for all, for all of it, because if not, it will be taken away from us. And tonight I have the great honor to bring on our phenomenal leader, our regional director that's going to pour his heart out into us again one more time. And, you know, he doesn't really need this introduction, but for those new to the business, new to the team, to new global, welcome, welcome. Get your pen and paper, everybody, and ready to take notes, listen as a student and as a teacher, because this gentleman I'm about to bring on is going to stretch your vision, what you envision, and be empowered for what you, and for what you envision as well. And he is none other than Mr. Jason Elscott the first who's been very, very successfully building teams for over 20 years, teams into the tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands in the U.S. and outside the U.S. as well. His expertise in business and leadership, mentorship, team building strategies have impacted and still currently impacting hundreds of thousands of lives in and outside the U.S. and out, even outside TLC. You know, one thing you'll know is that he gives you the true mentorship. He gives you the coaching that most of you know that, that most of the time it challenges you i know it does for me to understand it because he has all these concepts and thoughts and wisdom that when you trust and open to follow his instruction you'll reach the results that you're looking for sooner and in a bigger way and i have known him for over five years now and i have always have a high level of respect and trust in his in his mentorship and coaching since day one and i'm so grateful and thankful for his leadership and he is a leader that I would go to battle with for life. And so with that, I present to you and introduce to others, my friend, my personal mentor, uh, sponsor, my good friend, our regional director, Mr. Jason L. Scott I. Mr. Scott, the call is now yours, sir. Ms. Aline Galera, I'm absolutely on the phone line. Can you hear me, young lady? Yes, I, yes, I can hear you loud and clear. All right, good stuff, good guys. Listen, guys, really, I want to welcome each and every one of you guys to tonight's Vision Mastery Call, guys. And it's always important that each and every Sunday you log on to this call, and as, you, as always, you do a great job hosting, mentoring, you know, just providing guidance and leadership yourself. Ms. Glera, congratulations on the great job that you did. You were out that way in Europe for the last week, you know, launching that, you know, in the pre-launch of that European market. Matter of fact, guys, you know, we spent an entire week out in Europe traveling from city to city in Europe, building organizations. Now, that's the key thing. We weren't officially even in the back office in the country that we were at, but we have been working behind the scenes on the phones with Jack Fallon, you know, putting things together because our organization and team has been recognized for being able to successfully launch organizations and groups for a lot of years, and we came to this company, guys, and we've been able to do the same thing already. So congratulations, Ms. Galera, for just doing an incredible job. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts being, a, you know, helping to open up and pioneer that European Union. Thank you so much. Well, guys, listen. This is Jason L. Scott the first, and I recommend that you make sure you get this this text message out to your organization, get it out to your teams. Don't sit back and say, I'll study it, I'll get it, and then I'll send it off to them because I don't really want to get my people plugged into this. I'm telling you guys, listen, because right now we got, as I'm talking, people are still logging on to the, to the conference lines. I see the lines blowing up. People are still logging on to the webinar. Matter of fact, go to Project 100krevolution.com. We've probably got like another 20, 25 slots that we have before that's filled up because we're going to cover some things with you. As you guys know, a lot of times we can do these calls. Don't always have to use slides and things like that. But it's just kind of how, see, I learned for myself that I have to keep things so simplistic because I tell people I grew up in the projects, I grew up on welfare, I came from a I have a college background, but I came from a background not where, not where I was, you know, like I said, I barely made it out of high school, but barely making it out of high school. I didn't make it out of high school because I was dumb and nothing like that. See, but I can tell you this. For me, dumb was decisions that usually make you broke. 
Now, for me, my dumb decision for me, doing what I was supposed to be doing but not really paying attention, not spending the time the way I was supposed to spend the time, my dumb decision was not showing up for class, was leaving early. I remember people used to come and knock on the door. You know what I'm saying? The guys would be like, yo, yo, what's up? You coming out? What's up, man? And I would be like looking at the teacher, grab my books, and he would say, don't you leave out. Don't you leave out, man. Don't you leave out, Jason. And I start crawling. Don't you leave out. And I start looking at him while I'm walking all slow. Then I get to the door, and he said, you're not going to come back. And the next day, I'll be right back in to the class again. And I found myself, guys, barely making it out, supposed to fail. Matter of fact, the same teacher, I'm like, please, sir. I said, I'm failed. I failed. Can you just, just please just give me two, just two. Just give me two grades just so I don't have to get left back in, in my senior year. And I had to plead and beg, and he finally just get at it, too. Now, the two was because I had a failing mark, but I barely made it out, guys, because I was making the dumb, the dumb decisions. The, the, you know, the, the, the decisions that usually made me broke was basically making the wrong decisions in my life. So whenever I have a chance to do things now, and I have a chance to be mentored by the right people, have a chance to put things in place. I like to make sure that I keep things so simplistic for the, for the average person. So when someone's knocking on your door and they're trying, to come, they're trying to say, hey, come on over here, you don't need that call. If I was you, hey, listen, you, you need to come on over here. We got, we got this television show for you. Are we having this party over here? Are we going to be chilling for the nighttime? Or you like you're tired and you got to be to work tomorrow. And if I was you, I really wouldn't log on. You know how your mind starts playing tricks. And before you know it, you just say, you know what, I'll catch it next time. Well, guys, each and every call is like a major event. And we tell people all the time that your, your, your business will grow from event to event. And because these calls are like events, hey, Tina, welcome, welcome, Tina. I see you logged on. You're already welcome to the webinar. And because these, these events, these calls are like events, here is where you you will grow and your organization will grow simultaneously. I'm going to make sure, guys, that I give you the simplicities of the things that I do for myself because, again, because I, I spend so much time not focusing on class. I spend so much time not focusing. There was a lot of things that I, I didn't catch, and I had to learn that when I finally said, you know what, I'm going to go to college. And I started getting A's and B's when I was going to school for being a nurse. Yeah, uh-huh. I know. You didn't know that? You didn't know that? Yeah, I was going to go to school for being a nurse because I wanted to be involved with something, that a career that I can be anywhere around the U.S. and always find work. And it could be I could work in an emergency room or someplace that would always be exciting because I didn't want to be locked in doing the same thing. But when I went to school for that, guys, I was getting A's and B's. Why? Write this down. There's four levels of listening. Listening to, T-O, listening at, A-T, listening with. You know what I'm saying? You got W-I-T-H and listening for, F-O-R. And listening for is the highest level of listening. So when you're at the highest level of listening, that's the heightened level when someone tells you at the end of the conversation and that's where the money is at outside your door and you automatically say, wait, 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 hold on a second. What did you say? Where did you say the money was at? So that showed you weren't paying attention. See, when I was at the highest level of listening, Whenever, someone, whenever I was in school for a college, now I was listening for because I was an adult. I recognized that I'd been there out of high school. I recognized that I wasn't a dummy. I recognized that, I, that I, I had a level of intelligence, but I just never paid attention. So now, because of how, I, because of how I've been able to you know, grow up and think about things, I try to keep things simple for myself. So when I keep things simple for myself, I like to make sure I can keep things simple for other people. I'm giving you guys some time to get on to project100krevolution.com. I'm going to break some things down here shortly. When I start talking and showing you guys some, sim some simple ways that you can literally map out your business, put yourselves in a place, guys, and it's going to be important. Get your pen and your pad out. Get a whole new page on because it's going to be important because I'm going to talk to you about accountability how you can work with a team, how you can work with a group. Tina put together some things with your group this, this, this week and, and out that way in D.C. that you can start to work and put some things in place that by the time you look up, guys, you'll know how to get your pen levels knocked out. You'll know how I got regional done. You'll know how I'm always breaking directors, not just in one leg of business. I don't just happen to have one person, and that person is the one that's dominating the organization. I have several legs of businesses that I've been able to do the same systems and same things to help different people that when they plug in and do exactly what I asked them to do simultaneously while I'm working with them, they all they either break 
director, or they 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 break executive director, or right now just really close to breaking regional directors. But also on top of that, we we have a program in our organization, our team that we call the Five Hundred Club, where we recognize that the average person will give up right before they go director because they say, "I only I know director." And if you're new to the organization, director basically means you got a thousand in volume on the left and a thousand in volume on the right. Now you hit the first corporate position, and when you hit the first corporate position as a director, you also get a pay increase. So, so you get a pay increase in the binary, and you get a pay increase that now you start earning matching bonuses. Uh -huh. Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah, until you go director, you don't earn any matching bonuses. So you can have a lot of people that you sponsor, but if you're not director and they're also making money, you're not making money in the matching bonuses, which is the biggest way that we get paid in this company until you go director. Oh, 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 oh so you're not, oh, now you want to know how to go director? Oh, 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 oh so, so now you're listening for F-O-R, because some of that stuff kind of, you didn't, okay, okay, great, good stuff. Now you're listening for F-O-R, the highest level of listening. I want to make sure that we start to talk about these things. Now, I want to, I'm, going to, I'm going to share with you some things, guys, that I learned a long time ago. I've been under some great leadership and mentorship from the very first time I got into the industry of home-based business. I was in my early 20s, and I was a top leader in my companies. Then I was building teams, then I was doing it just through the process of just listening for and following instructions, but I really didn't even you know, a lot of that stuff didn't really didn't really you know, catch on until I started going to another organization. I did other organization when I had to use the same systems that I that I learned. Now in home based business, listen to me, family. This is important. There's there's, a, there's always psychology behind everything when I'm talking. In home based business, no matter what you do, you can do it in the same company in different companies because what we teach is about people. Some people may say, oh, there's, there's old strategies and old techniques. Well, when it comes to working with people, there's not old strategies. When it comes to working with people, it's not old techniques because people are the same people, and people can still be the same way. Some, some people are paying attention. Some people are not. Some people are, uh, are hard to work with. Some people are easy to work with. Some people you can say the same thing a thousand times and never get it. Then all of a sudden, that one day they get it, and then the next day they act like they didn't, they, that you, ain't, you, haven't, you haven't never helped them, and now you got an attitude. There's so many different things that works in this process. Because we have to learn that first we must work on ourselves. That's what this vision mastery is about, understanding that there's psychology behind what we do. Write this down. There's process training and there's progress training. Even if you hear me say it all the time, write it down because I say the same stuff about this guy because this has to be a language. In home-based business, in network marketing, there's a language of the business. There's a language that you must learn to speak. There's a psychology of how you must learn to think. There's certain words that that's, that's timeless. And because these words are timeless, and you understand it, I, when I was first in the industry, we would call it dynamics and mechanics. They used, they used to always say it's dynamics, mechanics, and economics. So now they may say this business is duplicatable, numerical, psychological, same thing. It's dynamics, mechanics, it was very, I, I, economics. That's the same thing. Economics is, is, is numerical. I heard the same information. It's not brand new. I learned that back, back when I was in my 20s, so 25 years ago. All right? But also this process training and this progress training. And because of the process and the progress in our process, guys, then, then of course, now the economics kicks in when it comes to, to the progression of, that, of the, how you learn to move yourself forward. And then we start to move yourself forward. Now you can learn to move other people forward. Then you move other people forward. Now, listen to me, then your bank account starts to move forward. Because until you learn to move yourself forward, until you learn to move you, you can't move anybody else. That's why we say leader of one, leader of many. If I cannot lead one, then I cannot lead any. I remember when I first used to hear one of my, one of my friends I used to work with, one of my leaders way back in the day, he used to say that. I'd be like, ah, that's corny. Because you know, I had all these, maybe Mr. Smith had all these quotes and things that we were saying. He would say, leader of one, leader of many. If I can't lead one, I can't lead any. I'm like, ah, get out of here. You ain't saying nothing. But then after a while, I'm like, that's the realest thing. Because if you can't lead yourself, if you can't get yourself in, out of the way, then how are you going to help other people? If you can't get yourself to work, then how are you going to be able to get other people to work? You must learn, guys, that this, this whole thing is about you. They're learning to work with others. They're learning to work with you 
while you work with others. Then learning to work with you while you work with others while they work with others. Then learn to work with you while they work with others that, that don't want to work with them, but they want to work with you. So the other that you're working with, now he's upset because the people want to work around you, and now this, this, change, this thing can be complicated. Trust me. And I know sometimes people say, man, it's not worth it. Trust me, it is worth it. Because you're going to go through the same, same scenarios anyway. You're going to be at the same job. You're going to have the same people that don't like you. You're going to have the same people that's going to talk about you. You're going to have the same people, the same family members that's going to hate on you. The same people that's going to try to pull you down. No matter what you do, you can have a job and make more money than other family members, and they're still going to talk about you. So you might as well match your comp plan out. So they're going to talk about you anyway. Talk about this. You want to talk about me at 5000 a month? Talk about me right now. Now I'm at 5000 a week or 5000 a day. You really want to talk? Let me give you something really to talk about. It's okay. But you have to understand that you have to put yourself in the whole process. And let's write this down, guys. What I'm doing right now is giving you guys, it's, it's, learn, it's, it's talk, self-talk. It's self-talk, the way you talk to yourself, the way you learn to do self-evaluations of self. And, again, make sure you go to Project 100K Revolution. When I start showing you some things, you're going to really say, man, that was some great stuff. Project 100K Revolution. So, anyway, our whole process is learn how to communicate, right? First, speaking to ourself, that self-talk. So, write this down. Speaking gives you, like, access to a program that's part of our DNA. When we're learning to speak, it's, it's, it's in our DNA that we can, that we can speak. Now, you guys do know I'm an introvert, right? You do know I do a lot of reading. I do a lot of history channel. I do a lot of discovery channels. I watch the science channel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me, the kid, the guy from the Bronx, the one who grew up in the streets, the one who used to be like, yo, son, word up, son, what's going on? You're talking on the slang? Say what? But still, I'd be on the history channel behind the scenes on them. No, then I go out to the, I go out to the hood back in the day and I started dropping all this, all this philosophical stuff. Talking about the astrology and the moons and the stars, and my friends would be like, "How do you learn all? This? Where do you get this stuff from?" Because I, because I was that, I was an introvert, or it was an inside extrovert on the outside. You know what I'm saying? But I've learned to be able to use those things to help me in that process. So, what I've learned about this process, guys, is that speaking is is in our DNA. See, speaking is basically just the ability to utter, to utter words. But speaking is in our DNA. And because it's in our DNA, that's what separates us from, from the animals. And that's what puts us in this process when every, all of us start to feel that we are so much ahead of everyone else and so much ahead of the animals. But we still can be on this call and still say, I hear what you're saying, but I'm going to do what I want to do. And we make a decision to still operate in a, in a way that hasn't yielded the results that we want to yield. Deciding is a conscious thought. And anything less reduces us to levels of almost an animal with less to deal with because animals are instinctually sound and we have traded that off for intellect. And if we're so much more intellectual, if we know that we belong, that we, if we know that we know, then we, we must understand, guys, that when I'm giving you this concept, you got to understand that speaking gives you access to a program. That's part of our DNA, but write this down. Communicating gives you access to progress. So learning to communicate, first of all, you got to learn to communicate with self. I want you to, that, means, that means being real with yourself. That means, that means self-evaluating yourself. You know how many times, it's kind of like the person who always, you know how we say opinions are like, oh, I don't want to say the rest of it, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. Opinions are like, Blank. That's what we say. All right? And, or, okay, actually, it's a two-syllable, a two-syllable blank word. So opinions are like blank, and everyone has one. Right? So if they say opinions are like that, that basically means, that basically means yeah, it's true that everybody has an opinion. But when you say they're like blank, you're basically trying to say that the other person who has an opinion, that he is a, his opinion is worthless. His opinion, but the thing is this. We got to understand that when somebody else is saying it, they're saying it about us. Yeah, 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 Mr. Scott, here we got his opinion, but opinions are like, so they're talking about us. And because they're talking about us, a lot of times we fail to evaluate ourselves because now what we do, think about what I'm saying. Don't leave me in this consciousness that I'm saying to you. What we do is we start to say, 
They're not talking to me. <laughs> I hear what you're saying, Mr. Scott, but that information is not for me. That's for somebody else. Or you know how as soon as somebody starts saying something, they go, yeah, they, they are like that, aren't they? Yeah, everybody is like that. Now, don't you hate when people are like that? But well, we, listen, I didn't say you, we be those people. That's why this vision mastery, opening up your mind, listen, in psychology there's something called a schizoma, and a schizoma is a blind spot. That means there's things happening all around you all the time that you're just not aware of, and then all of a sudden someone comes along and you say, baby, where is the salt? And they say, it's on the kitchen table. And you're like, I don't see the salt. I'm tired of coming to the house, and I can't find my salt. And I was like, I told you, baby, it's on the kitchen table. And you're looking on the table. See, this is why I don't like being married today. I done told you when I come to the house, I need to make sure my salt, my pepper, and my hot sauce is on this table. And then all of a sudden, the wife comes from downstairs. And she, she moved the, the pepper to the side. She moved the hot sauce to the side. And right in the middle of both of them is the salt that was sitting right there. But because you were so focused on just seeing the hot sauce or seeing the pepper, your mind literally blocked out the fact that, your, that your, the salt was right there. Many of you have done it with your keys. Many of you have done it with your eyeglasses. Many of them, you know, you, know, you, you, know, you, you, you can literally, it's so funny that sometimes we have even done it where we'll come out of a building, we'll see a car that looks like your car, and maybe that happened to you, but you may have no somebody like it. You're not even paying attention that you really, because your mind has just locked on the fact that that's the car, but the blind spot has been that you're forgetting that you hadn't parked right there. You just automatically came in, you were sidetracked, you were distracted, not focusing. Now you're trying to walk in. I, mean, I literally was sitting in the car. Somebody came in and opened the car door and got in the car. I'm thinking they're about to try to jack me or something. They're like, oh, oh my God. I'm like, no, this is my car. This, they, see, they didn't get in the car and was like upset that they were in my car. They got in the car and thought that I was in their car. I'm like, you do know that you got in my car, don't you? You know what I'm like, oh, my God, oh, I'm going to see. So I'm still in my car. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the toma when things are happening and you're not paying attention. Guys, things happen right around you. And I say all these things because when I say to you that communication gives you access to progress, you've got to learn that self-communication. That's why this vision mastery call is important. Because until you learn to do self-evaluation, self-communication, and be real with yourself and know and understand thyself, and recognize that if you don't, don't think we're perfect in this process, because now we don't listen to anything what somebody shares with us. We feel that we don't have to take, I already know that. I don't need nobody telling me that. Why are you telling me this? I already, but if you haven't gone director, then you don't know what I know yet. If you have not gone executive director, then you don't know what I know yet. If you have not gone regional, then you don't know what I know yet. So that means if, if I've been involved in a company, and the average person who's gone, who's hit pin levels, like when I was talking to some of the globals that's in the company now, and it was like, yeah, yeah, let me see, how long, when you went regional? I saw a regional about, about five months, and they was like, oh, yeah, man, it took me like six months. Oh, it took me seven months. So I'm like, oh, great. Well, I'm right on, I'm right on pace, because in my mindset, I'm like, man, I'm behind schedule. I came out the gate, and I was an executive director my first week. I made $4,500 my first week. I put a lot of people in, and I was moving a certain way. But getting people to duplicate and do what I was doing, the way I was, I didn't do anything magical. I just went to work in the very beginning. And when I did it, guys, I, now, I that, now getting people to work the way I was working, getting people to believe the way I believe, getting people, because everybody I put involved, the majority of the people had never been in network marketing. They weren't people that came with me from another company, another team. There were people that we just found out and plucked off of social media or people who've been watching us or out the phone. And that's what we that's what we got started with in the first week. So a lot of people now when they came on board I had to do self evaluation. I couldn't allow myself to be frustrated. I couldn't allow myself to be mad. Can I allow myself to get upset in my ring of bell? Can I allow myself to want to blame other people? Can I allow myself to say, you know what, I'm sick and tired because I can't get nobody to do nothing. Nobody ain't working where I work and this is a waste of my time. And, you know, I didn't do all that. I just said, I know that while I'm continuing on building myself, I have to continue building this business by finding new people. While those people that I put in, I must allow them to go through the time frame that it takes for them to build themselves. When you become that leader that other people wish to follow, see, 
we build a voluntary army and home-based business on network marketing. Our business is like so much like direct sales. I don't even like to use the word network marketing. And it's funny because when I, when I first came to this company, I was like, I like this company. I like direct sales. It's not even network marketing. Then I hear Stormy say, I told you, like, you know what, this is like a direct sales. I'm like, oh, I, said, I love it, the fact that I think the way a young lady who made $2 million her first year thinks without her giving me a pun, without her giving me the intro to it, it's just a net. So when she said it, I'm like, that's what I say. That's what I believe. So that it helps me to understand that I'm on the right wavelength. I'm aligned with my sponsor and the way she thinks already all right, in that process. So I'm saying it to you that when, I, when I'm giving you this insight, when I'm giving you this, this information, and I told you first that speaking gives you access to a program that's part of our DNA, and then communicating gives you access to progress. When you learn to communicate with yourself and remove yourself out the way, let yourself not believe that you know it all. Let yourself not believe that your way is the only way. Let yourself evaluate and say, you know what, humility is simply something is recognizing that there's something that, that you don't have. Humility is simply recognizing that there's something that you don't have. And it's okay to humble yourself. So, so now you humble yourself, now you're communicating with yourself. Now when you're communicating with yourself, you can properly communicate with, with other people. Guys, I'm, this, this is not just conversation. This is, this is mastery. They say when you, when, you do, when you perform tasks and do what you do for over 10,000 hours, you become a master at what you do. And listen, God, I've been doing this for years. Not, you know, not, not sideline for years, kind of, sort of, for years, maybe sort of for years. And, again, I see uh, a uh, lot of people logged on late to the webinar. Go to project100krevolution.com. These calls are two parts. One, I do a lot of insights and, and, and vision and talks and, and thought processes. The next part, uh, I give strategies and techniques. So they all tie in together. So make sure you go to project100krevolution.com because I'm going to drop some things that's going to be very, that's going to help you, help you have spread some clarity. Some of you guys have heard it before. Some of you guys haven't. Sometimes seeing it several times is going to help you bring some clarity, all right, on how to be accountable and how to really map out some goals, all right? So, let me get back into what I'm saying. So when I'm talking to you now, and I'm about to go into the, I'm about to bridge into what I'm going to train on on the webinar, where I'm talking about the, the process and the mechanics of everything. But right now, with the psychological aspects of it, because we recognize this, what I'm reason why I'm saying these things to you, because speaking gives you access to programs, to a program that's part of our DNA. Communicating gives you access to progress. Learning to self communicate first, and then having bridging that gap because self communication means to be hum be humble in your communication. Don't believe that you know it all, and no one can tell you. That's why sometimes I will talk to other people. Normally, I'm mentoring everyone. Every once in a while, when when I'm mentoring, and they may say some things, and I have to sit back and say, you know what, that that makes sense, and I'll incorporate that, or I say because I'm not going to say I got I know it all. Now there's systems and strategies that I know that must be followed. But sometimes an innovative thought, like if somebody say, when I remember back in the days when we were talking, myself and Mr. Quattro, Walter A. Smith before, we were talking, and there was a gentleman that when social media first came out. Now, you guys do know I'm a co-author, co-author and a number one bestseller, you know, network marketing for Facebook. Now, you can go to teamngd.com. That's our overall team site for the team. You can get documents, videos, and things that we're going to have. Myself, Quattro, uh, Aline Galera, other leaders, we have videos and trainings that we do on there. You can click on the four-step training, download the home study course. But also, you go to Team NGD for New Global Dynasty, teamngd.com. You're going to, right on that page, it has a video that a person can watch the 25-hour presentation. But also, you can click the link and get the book right there. But I say that because when the, when the gentleman first talked to me and Smith, this was before Facebook, he was like, you know what, social media is going to be the next wave of the future. And me and Smith, being who we thought we were, because our self communication was shut off, because we thought that we thought we we thought that we thought it all, we thought that we knew it all. We have been the leaders in the organization. We built a team of over ten thousand people. You know, what I'm saying we became so successful doing what we were doing. The CEO literally put me on the payroll, travel around, fly me city to city, state to state, because everybody was like, whatever Mr. Scott's doing with his organization, whatever Mr. Smith's doing with the organization, we need them doing helping us do the same thing. Because whatever system they're using. Which is the same four steps we use today that we did 10 years ago. Whatever system they're using, they got all their people making so much income and having hitting all these pill levels, we want to learn it too. So I was traveling, teaching everybody that. But the gentleman who came in that was part of my organization, 
in, in our conversation, he was talking. And he said, social media. And we, we were old school networkers, belly to belly, what you call it. I was like, get out of here. What are you talking about? <laughs> we laughing, giggling, high five. He's he talking about some internet. <laughs> He's talking about the internet going to be the wave of the future. We've been doing network marketing, bro, for 20 years. See, my self-communication was off. But also, because of how I am right now, I recognize that my self see, somebody else was still trying to figure out why that person was still wrong. They were trying to put it off. Yeah, yeah, but you understand, you know, he got in trouble with the law later on, and he went to, they started to come with all this other nonsense and other stuff that fit so that the person could be wrong, so they could still be right. But me, myself, humility is simply recognizing it's something that you don't have. So I humbled myself, and I caught on to that consciousness and that, and that, that, that thought process faster than most. So I allowed myself to be able to start incorporating myself into social media. Now, I didn't do it at the time, but when he was getting leads and finding people and talking about it, we, we thought it didn't matter. But I say that because every once in a while, you're going to talk and you're going to train and you're going to mentor people, and they're going to give them the strategies, but every once in a while, they're going to come up with something that can be added into what you got going on, so not in addition to the system, but just ways of how you can invigorate your organization, ways of how you can invigorate your group. I do it all the time with the team. Like a 500 club, I do the. I got globals now who ask me. It was tell me about the, the the 500 club. I got nationals who ask me. Tell me about that 500 club you do with your team. I got regions who ask me. Tell me about that 500 club. I got people who tell me. I went to your team site. My team loved your videos. My team loved this. But really, my team is using your site as well. TeamNGD.com. And I'm like, great. That's why it's there. Not just for me. It's for everybody to use the systems to help everyone compress time frames. Guys, where we are right now in our life, where we are right now in our business, where we are right now is understanding that speaking gives you access to program that's part of our DNA. I told you to write that down, right? Communicating gives you access to progress. I told you to write that down, right? But influencing gives you access to power or massive power. Hmm. See, influencing is the ability to get someone to move. The reason why I did that that entire, that entire talk was understanding that that was the key the key component is influencing. We do we learn to influence. Some people can use influence influence for for for, for good, and some people use influence for bad. But our whole process of influence, guys, when you learn to, first of all, you learn you got to influence yourself. That's kind of like fooling yourself. The self believe you know how you got to believe it. You say believe it, but you don't have to. You don't see it. You don't see it with your physical eyes. You see it with your mind. That's influencing yourself. Then you've got to learn to be able to use that same power of influence to get other people to believe in themselves as well. All right? So that, that was the whole process, guys, to get you to understand that this whole talk today is about learning to be able to influence yourself. Why? Because once we start talking about accountability and other things that I'm going to share with you today, once you learn to, to be able to influence your people in a certain way to be able to buy into the accountability, to be able to buy into some things, then you better get some, make some great things happen. Let me see. Someone actually hit me on a a voice note, I mean, on a thing, let me see who this is. I never get on the webinar. So, no, you t- the webinar, Denise, should be able to log you directly in. Once you, cl- once you click project100krevolution.com, it should take you directly to the, to the site. You shouldn't have to put in a, in, it shouldn't say invalid pin. It's not really a pin number. It just says the, uh, uh, just log on. Oh, let's talk about the call itself. Let me see. I'm on the call, but not, yeah. The webinar, I should go, just tr- type it in again, project100krevolution.com. All right? I'm sorry, guys. Someone sent me a, a, a note on Facebook, and as you guys do know, I don't multitask well. I, I wasn't going to look at it because I knew it was going to take me off to, to someplace else, but I, but, I, but I saw she was trying to get on to the webinar, and I wanted to make sure I could add value, even though she's part, not, not part of our organization. Anybody I can provide some, some leadership and some skill sets with, guys, I'm willing to be able to do that. So let's get started, guys. Let's talk about, as we, as we shift from the process training, all right, uh, you know, the, the progress training, the mindset, talk about the dynamics, let's talk about now the, 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 the actual process of what I, want you to, what I want you to focus on. Let me do this here. Matter of fact, let me show you my, let's go to my screen. I can do it on the page. I want to go from my screen. I'm going to do it this way. I want to do it, one second, guys. Let me share my screen. Let's do it that way. Uh, meeting ID, okay, okay. Meeting ID, let me see. I, thank you so much, ID. Eileen, let me type that in here now. Meeting ID is 
276. Let's see, let's see if that works. <clears throat> okay. All right. So let's see. Let's see if I can get this to open up here. Desktop. All right. Let me show something with you guys here in a second here. Uh, full screen. Yep. Let's do full screen. Okay. So if you look at my desktop, I'm going to share with you guys some things right now. Let me see, make sure it's showing up here. Okay. You guys see that? <clears throat> let's talk about accountability really quick. Because I want you guys to learn how to work with your team and work with your group. All right, so when we talk about working with your team, working with your group, take some, turn to a whole new page because I'm going to talk to you and teach you how to work with your team this week, how to work with some people this week. First of all, let's talk about accountability. Accountability, guys, is giving someone permission to lead you. Accountability is never a question of how can I help you, all right, because if the person knew what they needed, they probably wouldn't need you. So it's never saying, you know how when you call somebody, just like when I tell people, when you launch someone and you you say to them, listen, I got my calendar out, I'm going to schedule an event for you. You never say to somebody, hey, where can we do something for you? Most people, they're gonna, they're, they have a nervousness or in their mindset. When you ask them that question, where can I do something for you? Where can I do a call for you? Where can I come to a wild party for you? They're normally going to give you some crazy date off or they're going to tell you, you know what, I'll get back with you. Because in their mindset, they don't know nothing yet. And until they feel they know something, they're going to they're gonna put it off. So the reason why I say to you this, write this down, the speed of the leader is the speed of the group. So when you become the leader, you're going to move at a certain speed. And when you move at that speed, your people, they, see, people will adapt to what they are in the middle of. That's why no matter what job you got, you learn the job. See, they didn't wait till you went home and studied it. They asked you today, do you want the job? You say yes. They say, can you start tomorrow? You say yes. You didn't say, hold on a second, let me go home and let me study. I'm the type of person I got to know everything first, and I got to read everything, and until I do it that way, and that's just how I roll because all my friends, they're not going to want to work the job here until I know how to work the job. You ever heard that nonsense before? Yeah, uh -huh. that's because you have somebody give you that craziness. But I recognize that, is that, that see, people are used to being told what to do. Write that down. And because they're used to being told what to do and becoming an entrepreneur is not in their DNA. Haven't, they haven't done it yet. It might, well, let me not say not in the DNA. It, may have, it might be a basic, it might be a tickler in their DNA, but they don't know how to access it. So our job is to show them how to access it. Let me say it that way. Because let's say entrepreneurship is part of our DNA because I want to speak positively and truth. So it could, it's part of our DNA. Let's say that. Be, being our own boss, being self-reliant, doing making decisions. That's what entrepreneurship doing, what you need to do when it's, when it's time to do it. It's part of our DNA. But learning the, the skill sets, guys, that's our choice, what we choose to, to want to pay attention for. So because of that, it's more like this is how I'm going to help you, help yourself. If you're on Project 100K, revolution.com, you can follow along. When I drop these numbers on you, you're going to really say, man, I should have been on a webinar. All right? Now, it's more this is how I'm going to help you help yourself. It's never try. You want to replace with the words like my goal is. Though these three words you always want to say, like you said, let's teach a person to say my goal is. Never, well, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to see if I can do it on this day. I'm, I'm going to try to see if I can hit 10 levels by this time. It's never, see, so you, you see how you either say it with a tentative nature? You know, I, I, think, I, I, I think I've tried. See, tentative has no power. When you are tentative, you are vibrating in this world as weakness. In this in the universe, that does not favor the timid. So when you become tentative, <laughs> now all of a sudden, guys, everything about what you say you believe, you say you have faith, you say you have knowing, it's like if you're a person of belief and someone says you believe, you believe, either you believe or you don't believe. And they said you believe in a higher power, you go, <laughs> it's not a, <laughs> It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, you best of, that's, that's a knowing. So when, he, when you start to say, ah, that means that shows doubt. So, you, so you don't show doubt in your faith. So trying is showing doubt in your faith. I'll try. I'll see if I can see, you know, but I just got so much going. You know, I see, but it's just the everybody, you know, I, I, and that nature right there, guys, literally is why people can't build nothing big because that energy, it just it, it zooms and it comes out. So it's never about trying to replace these with the words as my goal is. So I'm talking to you to learn some terminology first to talk with your team, your group. All right? Let's talk the terminology, guys. It's goals, accomplishments, all right, when you're talking about it. So let's talk about your goals. I want you to focus this week with your team, Tina. All right? I want you to say, instead of just saying, let's go direct them, and people don't know what that is. They hear it, but that's like a 1,000. Let's kind of say let's focus on some benchmarks. Like if you, like social media, and I know I've got several team leaders that's on the phone line right now, like 
Anne Marie and Allison and all the leaders that I have under that Tobago and you know developing leaders that I have that we the part of a WhatsApp group and I'm always in their personal group and I'm always giving insight and they're calling me all the time and, and I'm getting direct calls and direct messages and texts and so I'm always talking to Marissa Ann and Allison and Anne Marie and and talking to their Kimberlite group and all this other stuff so so they they start to take on the aspect of all the coaching that I provide and the other leaders like Draymond Anthony everything provides right so when that happens I said instead of instead of just saying that we're going to get directed done at the end of the week let's focus on having by by Friday if we say directed a thousand on the left and thousand on the right. And most people are working inside of a group where they already have, they're on the power leg of their sponsor. And now because they're on the power leg of their sponsor, they're normally seeing volume, what we call spillover, right? That means you have to share leg with your sponsor. But if you're going director and you say, you know what, let's break director down in three parts. Instead of waiting until Thursday and saying, ah, I'm not going to read this director so you don't go for nothing, because what job would you go, would you get, and then you wait for you wait and you get a paycheck at the end of the work week is Thursday and you don't go to you don't go to work until Wednesday and then you expect a forty hour check. There's no job in the world that you now you may you may go on Wednesday, but when, on Thursday you already in your mindset listen to me, this is psychology, this ain't just conversation. In your mindset, you have already understood that the reason why you have failed for the week and you will not make enough money to pay your bills for the week and you will not have enough income to feed your family for the week was because you didn't show all week. You only showed up on Wednesday. So, therefore, you're only going to have a chance to get one, one day's pay. And when you get one day's pay, you normally say, man, this is a good ah, – I know I should have did the work all week. I knew I should have. I'm just psychology guy. Listen, I knew I should have worked all week. I knew see, it's my fault. See, what happened is we look at our leaders and start saying, "Man, nobody's helping me. Nobody's doing nothing for me. Nobody's there to help me. Nobody here to show me a way." But once they hire you at the job and they taught you the basic systems, the rest is you got to do your own selling. You got to do your own recruiting. See, we're going to help you in the process. We tell you all the time. You do the ushering. You let us do the preaching. You're going to take home the offering, and we do presentations around the clock. Team HD has a 24-hour presentation that you can say, you can say, listen to the, the video, and let me introduce you to my sponsor. Listen to the video, listen to the call, let me introduce you to my sponsor. That's all that is. And when you do that, right, they guys, we can help you make money. But after that, the rest of that, you saying, let me get you on a call because you don't get nobody on a call and look, have nobody looking at the information. It's not your sponsor's fault. It's you saying, I haven't exposed nobody. I haven't simply said to somebody, hey, who do you know would like to lose five pounds in five days and earn an extra thousand, three thousand dollars a week? Most have not said that. And if you haven't said that today, think about it. If you haven't said it today, whose fault is that? And again, it's, it's, if I haven't said it today, it's my fault. It's not my sponsor's fault. It's my fault that I didn't do that. So let's talk about this, the benchmarks, Friday, Monday, Wednesday. Friday, Monday, Wednesday. Now, I say Friday, Monday, Wednesday, slash Thursday. E-O-W is end of the week terminology, right? That's all terminology. Would you going to work with your group? So when you say accountability, you're going you're gonna to work with several people in your group. Now you say director. Let's break that director down. If it's 1,000 on the left and 1,000 on the right, you, you understand that you have to have at least 334. You say, oh, by Friday, I'm going to work with people on my left and people on my right to make sure that I'm, and my volume is at least 334 on Friday evening or by the time Friday day starts. Because if this, this is a thing. Think about this. If you have people in your group that every Friday they're placing in a personal order, because some people, this we teach some people, some people, like myself, every Friday I place personal order. That's what I do. I do it because I want to, I, you know, even though I have an auto ship of 120, I like to just place a personal order every week just to keep volume flowing in my organization all the time. But also, let's say you, you work with an accountability group. That means everybody, Tina, is not going to do what you, what you coach for. You have the leaders that's willing to let you coach them and hold them accountable because you're working together as a team. You can all say, listen, every Friday, let's place an order. So if you all place an order every Friday, whether it's a personal order, I need some new burst this week. And I, instead of me doing 120 all, it was, I, I'm going to do neutral burst this week. I'm going to do NRG next week. I'm going to do last year the week after that. I'm going to do whatever I need personally. So every so by the time I run out, four weeks later, I'm ordering the same thing again. So you might have four products that you're ordering. So every week you order a new product. And you've got four or five people, ten people on your team that's doing the same thing. 
that volume is generating from that. Because that in itself can all start your Friday off with volume on your left or volume on your right. You guys see how simple that is? So, again, when you work with your, with your, with your accountability, you're going to have to have a calculator. Like right now, I have mine in my hand. So if I say, if I say three, if I say three thirty-four, let's say that's three thirty-four that you're going to have in volume on Friday, and you divide three thirty-four by the average volume, which is like forty. So that's about eight people, eight point three five people in your team that you're working with, Tina, that you're saying, you know what, we're going to be accountable. So if I got eight people, and Allison, that all ordering a product on Friday, you already got three thirty-four in volume on that left side. Yes, yes. Now, what happens is this. When people start to see that they're at 334, and we work in our team, and we work towards what we call the 500 Club, the 500 Club qualifications. And now, listen, everybody's new global. You, you know, if you haven't heard it, I'm making sure you recognize it. This is what we do with our team. Every weekend, to make sure that people are still working through the weekend, we recognize it. We put the banner out. We, play, we send some praises. Understand this. Social media is, a, is, is nosiness. We're all nosy. We're all on people's pages, looking through people's pictures, scrolling through their timelines. We may not like everything, but we be nosy. It ain't them. It's us. We are nosy. That's social media. So people are watching you. And because they're watching you, they'll normally watch and see what you're doing. So when they start seeing things posted, like, for instance, Kevin Evans, he had people that's been watching. Nobody was really moving forward. As soon as he hit directing, the ones who was watching were like, you got to get, they'll call me, Mr. Evans. Call me, Kevin. What are you doing? I want to do it. Come over and show me what you're doing. Now, they didn't know what director meant. They just saw a director. They saw that I said, welcome to your pay grade, your pay raise, Mr. Mr. Congratulations on this. Now you're earning money on this. And then all his friends were like, what are you doing? See, that's what we do for social media. So the 500 Club recognizes those who have worked on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They have 500 on the left and 500 on the right. Some of you guys just by default have 500 already because your organization has built that team already. But if this, this is psychology behind it. Everything I do is psychological. That's, I can't help myself but to think the way I think. I'm going to break it down for me because I don't know my timetable, so I have to, everything I think is using my fingers and toes. That's no joke. That's it. I was so busy not paying attention, I would figure out ways not to learn my timetable. I'm not afraid of that. I made $20,000, earned as much as $20,000 a week. You think I, I, and I'd be like, one, two, three, four. No, hold on a second. Let me take my shoes off. I got use, I need my toes real quick. I ain't no shame to my game. You can get on a laugh here while I'm at the bank with 20 G's a week. Whatever. Anyway, when it comes to this process, I say, I'm in the club. I, if I say, you get 334 by Friday, now you're telling your person, guys, listen, you're, you're close to getting 500 by, by Monday. Let's, let's go for the 500 club. So that means by Monday, if you have broken it down that you're on your way to getting directed done, that's 667. It's actually like 666 six, six point something, but I was like, I ain't doing 666, six, 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 I'm doing 667. 667, six, six, right? So if it's 667, six, six, $667 on the left in volume, Again, so you say to yourself, if you say to yourself, that's between, if you got 667 with your calculator, and you divide that by the, the, the minimum volume that we have, and again, that's how you work your numbers all the time. You always get your calculator out or your phone out. That's like 16 people who may have placed the order. Now, that's a great thing. Listen to me. It's not just your team. What if you work for your leaders, Allison, and you're helping five, you're helping the same eight, you're helping the same eight people, you help them make one sale. The same people making one sale, they have literally gotten, you know, say a sales that, and they and they they did it personally. So now they put that same money, that same forty dollars in volume, back into the organization. Now when they put it right back into the organization, now that's only sixteen people on the left, sixteen people on the right. And if again, if you happen to be blessed, where you're already working with your group, and if not. Listen, it's fine. Listen, where I'm, where I'm working at, my sponsor helped get me off to a great spot, but I'm I'm pretty much building my left and my right, and it's okay. I'm, do, I'm building my left and my right, building my own volume. So it's all, it's all good. You know, oh, man, nobody give me a spillover. Well, I'm not getting a spillover either. You know what I'm saying? So I'm working, I'm working doing the same thing. But I recognize dude, when I put these numbers in simplicity forms like this for myself, it just makes sense. Because now if a person says, listen to me, Tina, if, you, if, you, if by Monday you say I'm at 667, now all of a sudden you go, man, we can get directly done. Now people will go to work. But also, a person got their 500 club qualifications. You put, you recognize them for the 500 club, 
left 500 club on 500 points on left, 500 points on right. You post that on the banner. Now people are praising the friends who are like, what's happening? Well, you know, I told you I launched that Lose 5 and 5 campaign. It was at my company, my business, the people, we, we launched this Lose 5 and 5 campaign here in Trinidad and Tobago and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And we work alongside some other, some other people here. We're having a great time. We finally are looking for people who want to be a part of the campaign and want to lose some weight. What, I'm, I, would love to, I would love to include you in the campaign. But how can I be a part of it? Hey, you said 20 bucks. Here, here let, let me give you this. Let me give you this pack of teas. We'll make you like a 20, 20, 20 a gallon of tea. Use it all week. Lose five pounds in five days and stuff, man. You will be a part of the campaign, and you too can actually start making some money doing the same thing. I, I, I want to be a part of that. Yeah, I can lose some weight. Guys, I gave you the simplicity of how you can get director done, but also the same thing with executive director. All right, and we're looking at the numbers right there because if you get the numbers done, see, I, let, I like to focus on the end of the work week by Wednesday. You know why? Because the reason why we normally get it done on Thursday, listen to me, the simplicity of it, is because that's the end of the work week. It's, it's in our mind that it's the end of the week. It's not going to be seven days because normally most people don't get busy until the last day anyway or the last two days anyway. So they didn't do nothing on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Then Wednesday, they say they get a wild hair, and they say, you know what, let's get it done. And they still get directed done. I know, because when I was on my way to regional, I broke like eight directors and two executive directors in one night. Now, people wasn't close to it. We weren't all, no, no, in one night, I rallied everybody in Trinidad today. We was all in the wet, we was all in our, this group. We probably did a 3,000 text messages back and forth just talking. By the time we were done, people were texting me, Mr. Scott, I'm scared. I'm nervous. I've never seen nothing like this happen before. How is, how, how are we yielding so much power? Guys, because power is not granted. Power is assumed. And when we assume the power, we make anything. Because they say all things are possible. They say some things, a few things, every once in a while things. All things are possible for those who believe. Now, when I'm talking about accountability, if you just believe in what I'm saying, you believe the simplicity of what I said to you? You take your calculator, you look at see, when you look at the numbers, see, numbers don't lie, people lie. But when you look at the numbers, you say 334, eight people or less, I can do that. I already got 500 volume points. I already got 5,000 over here. That's eight people all just placing the order. And I get 334 by Friday. Then I get six. Then I can help each of them do at least one sale over the weekend for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And we just do one sale, and that's 667. Man, they can, that, that, that's easy. See, that's all that is. Just simply 16, and that's at least at four. That's just at least with customers. And then, of course, you tap it off, guys, by getting 1,000 done. And if you have to do it on both sides, do the same thing. Now, you see I got numbers on the, on the, on the thing, guys. You take whatever it is, 5,000 in volume, divide it by three. 10,000 in volume, for, that's, executive, that's executive director. 10,000 in volume on your pay leg, divided by, divided by three. Gives you like 3,334 by, by Friday, 6,667 by Monday, and 10K by, by Wednesday. Or if, if, you, if you don't get it done by Wednesday, now you at least got Thursday. That's the simplicity, guys. As we wrap it up, when we're talking about when it comes to the simplicity of, of accountability. But I do want to show you this, and then we're going to be done here in this process, guys. Because once you kind of understand that, just understand that I work in these zones like this. The white zone is, is every single Every single Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, my team turns into the white zone. That means we do a lot of exposures. We don't wait until we just do the same thing all the time because it's like working out. You can kind of get lazy and kind of fall into this rut. So we say, this is the white zone. Turn it up, guys. We get busy. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a lot of activity. Now you just so much activity that the blue zone rolls up. That's a lot of follow-ups, a lot of presenting, a lot of showing a plan. Cause you got so many people that's been exposed, and now you got all these conference calls, webinars, events going on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You can show people a plan. Then the red zone is when we're in that crunch time on that Thursday, and people are just starting to join left and right. All right? So I want you to do this, guys. I want you to figure out, the, identify three people that you're going to mentor. The mentorship is wisdom without waiting. You're going to teach them what I'm showing you. And understand when you mentor them, you want to focus on finding the three people who's going to, who's going to commit to showing the plan four times a week because these are called the vital signs, three vital signs if you want to know if you have a real successful business, three vital signs. It's like, it's like your pulse. If when they check your pulse, if it's a beating a regular, they know that something is wrong because these are your vital signs. All right? And so you got to say, how many people do I have of the ones that I'm working with that's going to show the plan four times a week? 
So, like, right now, I started identifying some leaders that I'm working with, some other, other ladies in my group that I'm working with, other gentlemen I'm working with. So, right now, Nikki Alexander, she got four events going on, at least four events this week. Genevieve got at least four events this week. You know what I'm saying? A different leader got at least four events this week. Allison and Marie, at least four events this week. Because, my, because this is me understanding my business and understanding who I'm going to identify that I'm going to work with to make sure they're doing at least four wild parties, four VGOs a week. That's activity. These are income-producing activities, all right, qualified events. Now, two is how many how, of those same people, how many tools are flowing through your organization? If you don't have nobody buying product, have nobody buying tea, the, you don't have no the tea is a tool. Product is a tool. Your, 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 your magazines are tools. All the different things that you can order and that you can utilize, that you can actually put into the, into the hands of people, you know, the, the, the cards and the posters and things that you can get out. If you don't have tools flowing through your organization, and, of course, our products are our major tool because we use those for sampling, you don't have a business. If, you, if nobody's buying nothing, everybody came in at $50 and they, they don't do nothing at all, they're not reinvesting in it. Because you can come in at 50 you can sell those four packs of tea, make $80, put that right back in the buying more tea. You can buy that shot and put that right back up buy more tea. You can, you can keep flipping that, as we call it, until, that, until you earn enough to do what you need to do. So how many, how many, how much, how much, how many people that has tools? How many tools are flowing through your organization? And if you don't have no tools flowing, guys, you don't have a successful business because your business is not able to duplicate itself. And then, of course, the third vital sign is how many people are attending events. Going to events, guys, is what is so important that people attend events because, like, this call is an event, and events is where magic happens for your people. All right? Then after that, guys, as we wrap it up, we have ways of how we track with our group, like our 30-day uh, weekly activity overview. We have a 30-day and a weekly activity overview that we have on TeamNGD.com. It's actually part of our, our resources. You can go there and just check it out. You can use it for your own team. You can... You know, how, it doesn't matter, guys. It's just, it's just paperwork that we use to help people understand how they can track. And sometimes people don't know activities that they can use. And we got a form once online that, we, that once we finish launching people, now they, now they can remember, let me do some social media stuff. Let me do some stuff over here. Let me do some retailing. And you got a form that kind of walks people through all of that. All right? So your job right now, guys, is going to be to coach people, assist them to overcome objections, learning the, the language of the business, practicing your scripts, encouraging the heart of the people, and learning to teach people the PS3, peaking the interest, showing a plan, three-way call. All right, guys, and there's so much more that I can go into, not a whole lot more, but I, we're at the top of the hour, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to kind of go deep into this, but I do want to tell you one of the things that we do with our group to help track, and I know Mr. Quattro does it well, very well, we have what we call a fish. Play fish is just simply when you call in with your people that you're working with accountability this week, and Marie say, listen, if you guys commit to doing a certain amount of phone calls, you want to call, when you call them, all you want to know is how many phone calls did you do? Because when you work with the people, everybody should have a number. So now you can call them as you're working with your accountability group because you're teaching people skill sets. So you now you say, move to your list with excitement. You don't have to, you, and then you're calling your people, you're promoting for individual, individual VGOs and launch calls like, like Genevieve's been doing in the last couple of days and Nikki's been doing, we did several today, all right? And now you want to say, how many phone calls you, you did today with your group, all right? Now you can schedule the times you're making 30-minute calls to, a, you know, to an hour a day that you're making phone calls with your group, getting people on VGOs, getting people on launch calls. How many phone calls did you make? Because the first time they made two calls, then you already know, well, listen, you've got to really bump that up. And you, we we got to make more phone calls. So how many phone calls did you make today with the three to five that you're holding accountable? How many leads did you get today? Like how many people did you sample? At least three people a day. So when you're working with your people on accountability, you've got to say, listen, look, I want to be a part of the accountability group. We're going to do at least three three people a day for this, for, this next, for this next week or the next two weeks. All right? And when you're in the white zone, it's going to double it up. So it's going to be six people a day for Monday, for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. How many appointments? That means how many, you know, how many scheduled one-on-ones, VGOs, webinars, 24 hours. How many people you get on these things? How many appointments? Then there's how many follow-up phone calls. That means the people that you need to put back through the system. Because, listen, guys, fortune is in the follow-up. The average person needs three to five exposures. We not only say five to seven sometimes, but three to five exposures at least 
right? And don't confuse that with new leads. I mean, these are people who looked at something, but you got to show them something else. They may have drank some tea, but now they got to look at some information. They may have drank some tea, looked at the information, but now you got to do a three-way call. That's three exposures. You got me? And most people, until they have seen the information that did several exposures, they won't flow in the business. Then, of course, the last thing I like to check with is how many sales did you do today? Let's, let's, let's find 30 minutes a day that we're going to use the quick retail script, sell some products, guys, because people selling product, you're going to help them retail to recruit. So, guys, that's, that's, where, that's where we are right now. I want to make sure I was able to cover that with each and every one of you guys. I want to show you guys the simplicity of what it is that we do with our business because the last thing we would do with Playfish, P-L-A-F-H, is hours. How many hours did you work this week? How many do you focus on your faith, your family, and then your finances? And then after that, you put all your work schedule and your work time into place of everything else you want to do. All right, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you who logged on to this Vision Mastery call. I pray that the information that I share with you kind of gave you some insights and things that you can use, each and every one of you, in your business. All right? uh, I, believe that, 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 uh, I believe that if you guys just apply the, the information, that you apply what we share with you guys, I believe that we can really help you off to a great and a powerful start for your business. So let me open up the phone lines, guys. We're at the top of the hour already, and normally I would end the call, but I'm just going to take a couple of people, and then we're going to be done here. Do I have any leaders on the back line that have any comment? Uh, information they want to share about tonight's training call. Just press star six on your phone or just speak out. Any lead on the back line? Mr. Scott, this is Eileen, sir. Eileen, go ahead. Take it away, young lady. So thank you. Thank you very much for incredible, very powerful progress process training. And, and you are right. You know, just learning the basic, the basic foundation of how to build this business, working with people, we can really uh, go and build uh, any business that we want in the home-based business. And that is what's so, so strong for me when I came in here at TLC because of what I have learned from your mentorship, from your leadership and coaching with the, with the basics in building this business. You know, understanding the dynamics of, of, of direct sales, pretty much I came in here with just my faith, my belief, and my confidence. And just like you, I came in here, built a whole new, uh, you know, whole brand new team member again from scratch. And all the people that I worked in, in, in Europe, those are all whole new to me. I know I've never worked with them before, never knew them before. So it's incredible when you learn the, the very basic foundation of this business, just like what you taught us right now with everything on the you know, on the uh, on the on the building and the time zones. I mean, not time, not time zones. So the the exposure zone, white zone, blue zone, and red zone, and all that. You know, that's just very basic that we can take that and build uh, any business that we that we you know that we that we go to. And it's incredible to learn all the very basics. So thank you for all your for your uh, mentorship and coaching. That's really good, contributing to a lot of success that we have going on in our in our team. So I send the call back to you, Mr. Scott. Well, I appreciate that, young lady. Thank you so much for just doing what you're doing, just being the leader that you are. And, guys, because we are already to already six minutes over the call time, we'd like to be right at an hour. I appreciate each and every one of you who logged on to tonight's Vision Mastery call. I pray that you guys took something powerful away from the call tonight that you can utilize to go build your organization. Get with your teams. Apply accountability this week. Put some things in place that each and every one of you can go out there and win. Always remember, given the sum total of all your decisions, you cannot change who you are, but given new life, new vision, new unity, you can change who you become. So go to my timeline, Facebook, Jason L. Scott first. Show me some love from this call. Make sure everybody know they missed out something powerful. We're going to probably post this call onto the, uh, into the Team NGD so people who can get a chance to get back and listen to it again. Anybody who want to watch the video or hear it, they're going to post it online and stuff for accountability. So, guys, I appreciate you guys. I see each and every one of you guys not just at the top but over the top. So let's all just get out here and let's all just become. This is Jason L. Scott the first. I love you all. Good night, everybody. <laughs>